Pocket pets are small domestic animals like hamsters, gerbils, ferrets, and rabbits. Many people like to adopt a pocket pet rather than a dog or cat because they are easier to take care of. And pocket pets do not require much attention like their canine and felon counterparts. Now, if you live in a small space and cannot have a large or active animal, or you just want a pet that is relaxed, then you can easily bring home a pocket pet. Moreover, pocket pets make great companions. Keeping these in mind, this video is meant to help you decide which pocket pet is ideal for your lifestyle and pet ownership goals. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Petopedia Sugar gliders are small, cute, and very social animals. They are a bit different from other pets. They are marsupials. That means sugar gliders have a small pouch for carrying their young ones, just like kangaroo does. These furry balls are nocturnal, so they work perfectly fine if you are someone who stays indoors at night only. For their diet, they are omnivorous, so they eat both plants and insects. But they usually like to eat food that is moisture-rich. Remember, a healthy sugar glider is always hydrated. Sugar gliders have a very adorable appearance with their big eyes. These allow them to have a good vision during nighttime. And their ability to glide from one distance to another may be the cutest thing one would love. However, because of its social nature, it's best that these fur babies are not left alone. These babies get depressed and develop undesirable behaviors when they are alone. Gerbils are very quick and sociable animals. You should keep the gerbils as pairs of the same gender, but they are very fragile for a house that has kids. Because of gerbils' agility, kids find them difficult to hold and they will tend to squeeze them. So, that means you should have a place to provide enough room so that they can have enough activities for all these. Now gerbils love chewing so ideally, a wooden or wire cage is not a good housing option. A fish tank or plastic gerbil house is the best option for them. To encourage their foraging skill, scatter the food. But keep in mind to clean the cage and remove any stale food to maintain proper hygiene. But before purchasing a gerbil, just check if it's legal in your state to have one. Hamsters are the cutest pets and maybe one of the most kid-friendly pets in the list. They are super playful and love to be touched. However, there are some breeds that do not like human touch. Hamsters are quiet and low-maintenance pets, and they are easy to tame with regular handling. But as hamsters are nocturnal creatures, they can be disappointing for small children. But for evening hours, these pets make great company. If you want to keep a hamster as a pet, choose the one that is preferable to your condition of living. Hermit crabs are pets without commitment. They are fun to watch and move from one shell to another. Hermit crabs are great for apartments where no noise is allowed. Moreover, they are hypoallergenic and low maintenance. Hermit crabs are social and they do best when they are placed with another crab. But their tank should be spacious enough. The diet of these hermits includes fruits and leafy vegetables like kale. For a beginner, leopard and house geckos are one of the best choices if you love having reptile pets. They do not need much of a cage space. Just a cage space between 15 to 20 gallon tanks will do the job. These are good options if you don't have a big room for a vivarian setup. But they do need a vertical setup for the climbing with lots of branches and plants. Gecko males are territorial, so there must be only one male in one terrarium. Females can stay with each other. Geckos are commonly available pets. But keep in mind that they are not hands-on pets as they are extremely fragile and can escape from your hand. Many frogs and toads are suitable for small apartments. 
They are the dwarf clod frogs which are small but completely aquatic so a gallon tank would suit them. Or you can try the American green tea frog as they do well in a 10 gallon terrestrial tank but it's better if you try on a tall tank. Leopard frogs and oriental fire billet toads are both semi aquatic and live in a 10 gallon tank. Now, if you love a bit large size frog, you can get the Pac-Man frogs which are pretty sedentary and live in a 10 gallon tank. Frogs are low maintenance pets and they only eat a few times a week. However, some male frogs sing, so it can be said that frogs are not completely quiet pets. But their sound is not loud enough to disturb your neighbors. Guinea pigs are very social and they are generally very easy to handle. These creatures make a weak sound as vocalization. But do not worry because the sound is not loud enough for your neighbors to get disturbed in an apartment. Moreover, you will also find the enclosure of the guinea pigs in a manageable size. Because these cute and fluffy rodents usually do not tend to climb, let your guinea pig enjoy an out-of-cage time to socialize as they explore and play. But don't allow other pets to roam at that time and make sure that there are no exposed wires or wooden fixtures. Now, if you are a fan of spiders, you can add a tarantula to your pet list. You must understand, tarantulas require an adventurous caretaker but they are not as venomous as people think. These creatures are quiet and typically only need 10 to 20 gallon aquariums to thrive. They are low maintenance and they only need food every other day. Moreover, tarantulas do not mind if you're not around much. Although we have said that pet tarantulas are only mildly toxic, you should not handle it. Coming to ferrets, these are quite interactive and they love to play with humans and each other. But to accommodate their playful nature, provide them with a large cage. Ferrets are excellent apartment dwellers as they sleep most of the day while their owner is away. They are also quiet creatures but they like to hide and get into mischief. So, if you want a ferret as a pet, keep your house ferret proofed to prevent escapes or hiding spots that are unsafe. These are our 9 best pocket pets for beginners. In this list, we have even included exotic pets so that you can choose the best pet for you. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Like, comment and share it with your friends if you find this video useful. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.